This morning, I spoke with psychologist, uh, one who grew up here and had beautiful, moving things to say about this community as they experience immense grief. This is just such a tight-knit community that everyone is taking care of each other, and so I just want to make sure to remind people to take care of themselves, too. You're handing this out. What is it? It's a grief journal. It gives prompts every day to allow people to kind of process what they're going through. And so I'm just handing it out to people who maybe feel like they're not ready to talk now, but can still kind of process their feelings through writing. There's this collective grief that happens, you know, just to the whole community. We all knew someone that was impacted in some way in a town like this. You can really feel that collective grief as mourners are here, uh, people coming to pay their respects with very heavy hearts. I want to bring in CNN's Nicole Chavez for more on this. She's a writer with CNN's race and equality team. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much uh, for talking. I, I, your piece on CNN.com was really moving, talking about where we are right now, this memorial, and about the color maroon, how that has taken on a, a specific symbol. Talk about that. Yes. Um, you know, in this town, um, right when you get here, like, you feel the love. And, you know, before, you know, this tragedy, like, people will wear maroon for, you know, sporting events to support their own children at, you know, soccer, baseball, t the color of, yes. the, of the school team. Yes, yeah. is the school, the school team. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, earlier this week, I talked to, you know, parents who... They say, like, I don't know what to tell uh, my fellow parents, my my family, um, that something that, what, what words can I share with them uh, for them to face this? Uh, and they, what they took on was just to wear maroon. Were the colors that for them uh, were just unity, that show unity in this town. So now you, when you walk around town, you see way, way, way too many uh, maroon teachers. And, you know, the, the message has changed, you know. Before, it was to cheer for their own children. Now, it's uh, to show unity. And, you know, it's all the teachers are uh, Uvalde strong. Yeah, no, that's very well said. Now, you are based in San Antonio. And you've unfortunately had to cover mass shootings before. In 2019, the Walmart sh shooting, you were there for CNN. Uh, that was in El Paso. That hit very close to home for you. Um, 90 minutes away, that's how far we're talking with these mass shootings. What did you notice when you arrived here to report on what happened last Tuesday? Um, right when I got here, uh, you know, driving into Valde, the first thing or one of the, fir the first things I noticed was the children were at the center of here. You know, um, when, you when you drive into town, you see the high school portraits uh, right outside uh, City Hall. Like right now, like, and today we're here just across the street, you know, at a Grove Memorial uh, for 21 uh, victims, most of them children. And still, like, you see children everywhere. People here that come here, like, you know, holding their children's hands, pushing strollers, still, uh, you know, torn between, you know, mourning for their, for, for the lives that were lost and still trying to keep going for those, uh, you know, children who are still with us. It, it is amazing. This is the, the third day that I've been here, and today's a weekend, so people are, are off work, and there are a lot of people here. But it has been really packed with, with mourners, with people just to come and pay their respects. And you can really feel, feel it in the air, the support. Obviously, there's, there's a huge tragedy. but the connectedness that people feel to one another. Yes, uh, when you talk to people in town about, uh, you know, what happened uh, and the victims, especially the children, all of them just describe them as our babies because there is so many connections. There is, uh, they can be, they, people went to get, uh, have gone to get, uh, you know, to school for generations. They like, they are cousins, grandparents. Like they, they work together. Like everybody knows each other in one way or another. So for here, for like the people here in town, they are just babies. It's like everybody's family.